Hello everyone, welcome back to Zoo Tycoon. Now, I said in the last video I wasn't completely sure how we were going to do the DLC games. In this case being the uh, Marine Mania and the Dinosaur Digs campaign. I think we're just going to keep them in relative order. Uh, I haven't done the tutorials yet because the tutorials for Dinosaur Digs didn't work. But um, we're going to skip the Dinosaur Digs in this case. We're going to do Marine Mania. Simply because the marines are kind of the more fun stuff to deal with. The marine animals. So if you guys are enjoying these videos, don't forget to hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe. Um, there is no time limit for this one. So this video is going to be until I finish the game. Uh, in terms of, like, the... I mean, when I say that, I mean uh, finish the level. So uh, we need enough space for orcas... We don't have a ton of money. Um, I mean, it is only one animal. So let's go real quick read. Let's pause this. And real quick read what the, what it is. So you have to earn an exhibit suitability rating of at least 85 for one orca exhibit. Earn a total profit of $100 for all orca shows. And then record 75 guests in the zoo. So we need the orca exhibit first we're going to keep it in marine mania that way we get a full experience of the games um the concrete edge and glass is the cheapest solid concrete guests can't see through it so we're going to do it with this so the guests can kind of look at it i don't think in terms of space marine mania is a bit different because the animals you can make the it's like a 3d um, exhibit because it's an aquarium so as you can see if they need more space there is just the thing of pulling up or down the exhibit uh, we're going to put this here uh, I'm trying to think how I want to set this up okay we're going to put this here and how we're going to do this is we're going to have the grandstands over here for them to watch. Um, orcas are going to have a star next to their... Okay. Now, tank is too shallow. Exhibit's not big enough to hold the animals. Okay, we're going to pause it so that it doesn't get too sad. So what we'll probably do is we'll have the grandstands here. The show exhibit... I guess it depends on how much bigger it needs to be. Let's see how much bigger this is going to be. And you have to connect it like this, and then you're going to delete it like that to merge it. Um, we're going to put it over here this time. We're actually going to delete this entire track over here, because we're not going to need it. Um, I don't think we really need a compost uh this is the tank for okay so these get maintained by the maintenance workers they're filters every single exhibit needs a filter i don't know if the show exhibit does but we'll put it right here you'll see how i do it um and then they need a very expensive marine specialist now in terms of food they've got places to eat for the customers um, but there's no place to sit for their food. So, I think what I'm going to do... They also, oh, they do have a couple garbage cans, but there's really not a lot. Let's get the garbage cans set up, so that way people are happy. Um, it looks like I won't be able to do what I was hoping to do. So we're going to put it into all. That'll let me use the Zoo Tycoon things, but we're not going to use the animals from Zoo Tycoon unless they specifically say we have to. This will be exclusively... Uh, okay, so yeah, that's not going to work at all. Um, we need to make an area for people to sit. And I don't know where to put it. I guess we could put it here. Could do like... Let's take the red ones out and we'll put some places for people to sit. I don't know why they didn't put any seating. I also realized that they also didn't put a bathroom down. <laughs> they gave me this, you know, great looking place in terms of, uh... Right, we're gonna have to delete this. 
they give us a great looking style and setup. We got a little ring toss, you got a carousel, but they didn't give us anything for actual, you know, functions for the people to go to the bathroom and whatnot. So let's see. It's big enough. Let's make it deeper. Okay, can we... Let's drop it in that. And let's just go slowly up. Is that good enough for it? Still a little too shallow. You're going to see why I'm doing this in a couple of seconds. That goes up by 2000 in price. And then they're going to want foliage. And seaweed. Um, we need to make sure we have enough money to actually give them the... Uh, show. I'm trying to think of what it's a show tank. That's what it's called. Uh, suitability of an 85. So that's a 74. So let's just. Did they need a lot of foliage? No, it's rocks. Okay. Now rocks. Five hundred dollars. I don't think that's. You don't have to do any of this for the show exhibit. So once we get. Still need more rocks. Is that... Okay. Perfect. Now the show exhibit needs enough space to actually perform the show. We also need enough space for the grandstands. Now this is where my biggest fear came in with this game. It's why I didn't really want to do the... Uh, I'm trying to think of how to word it. I didn't want to do the marine mania until we had finished all the other ones but it does just make more sense to do it like this so what we're going to need to do is we need to do this all the way around and then we're going to need to raise the tank so raise the tank to there now we're going to need this here, and again, I'm not sure if we need a filter for this tank, but we're going to put one in just in case. Now, I actually don't mind how this looks. I just hope there's enough space to actually do any performances. <laughs> it's kind of narrow. So now we need basically a space like this. Set up. And I don't know if you need to fill in it all or not. And then you need to put in show grandstands. Can't put it directly into it. You have to put it back one. And I like to usually give it at least one walk around kind of a thing. So there's enough space for people to move. And then we need to put in show objects. So not orca, not dolphin. We need the orca ball. So we'll put that there. Make sure there's enough space for people to see it. Orca stage. We'll put that here. Um, sea otter, sea otter, sea lion, sea lion, advanced tricks. I think this is for any animal, so we'll put that here. So I guess there is enough space. Now, we need to make $100, but we don't want it to be too... F Actually, frequent I think is fine. I think frequent's fine. This is where stuff gets kind of interesting. So you can repeatedly put the same tricks in up to a certain point. So you see how that went up plus six, plus three, plus six. Spray water, plus four, plus six, plus three. It's kind of dropping now. And it will inevitably start to kind of, I guess you'd say like that one only went up by plus one this time. But that went up by plus four. That went up by plus four, plus two, plus four. And I think we're going to end it there. And we're going to make the cost, we're going to drop the cost to $5 just to make it simple enough. And then I think that'll start drawing people over here. We should probably get some level of a food set up back here for the people. And then we just wait until we get the 50 guests we were looking for. We're at 35 right now. And, um... 75 guest, and then we need to get a profit of a hundred dollars from this so every once in a while they'll both go up to the show tank they'll declare a show is starting we need to get some people over here so to do that there's the declaration that the show is starting to do that we're going to get a little 
food area started over here to get people over here. I'm actually surprised I was able to get this at $60,000 because, uh, let's get some Orca toys for the kids. Uh, let's get a, they have a lot of things. Like, you can do swim shacks here in, like, water. Um, fancy family restroom, okay. Let's do a submarine store. And we'll do a fancy bathroom. And is there some kind of like a drink area? We could just do a regular drink stand here. So as you can see, people are going to start making their way over there. We need a ton of people there, though. And then we'll do like... We'll have it set up like that so you can be on like the beach, I guess you can say. Because it is technically on sand. Okay, so these grandstands are working. That's the biggest thing. We need people to get here. Now, yes, unfortunately, with how I've got it set up right now, it's over here, but we'll probably move this to there. That way, probably like right in here. That way, the people can see the spray water thing and stuff like that. It doesn't really... It just aesthetically looks better if they were actually watching them do the actual tricks, but... I mean, they're watching them there, which is interesting. They're like, hey, you're cheating. You need to be over here. But we're actually getting a ton of people in there, so I'm actually quite happy. Animal happiness is great. The zoo rating's low, but I only have one exhibit. This seems kind of like a... The kid's just having the time of his life. Good for you. <laughs> Everybody else is going to watch the orcas. You're like, I have my own orca. It's a bouncy ride. <laughs> this orca won't, I don't know, spray water at me and... Uh, like, be five times bigger than I am. Probably closer to 20 times. These things are huge compared to the person. Is that normal size? I think that's the first time I'm honestly realizing it. So we're looking for $100 from all Orca shows. Um, it's $5 per person. So right there is 25 We might already have that. Um... Is it an average? Yeah, the watch out, because total profit, okay. There there will come advanced maps where it's like, have an average of $100, and you're like, oh, yay, this is going to be fun. Have one bad show, and the whole thing is kaput. <laughs> but as you can see, that's why I'm saying I don't expect this to take very long. Um, I mean, we're already at 52 guests. If we really needed more guests, I guess I could technically put in an exhibit, like, right here. If the guests aren't going, but they're coming in enough, so I'm not really that worried about it. Um, if the amount of money we're making is good enough, I mean, it should be. There's tons of people over there, and some of them are just for some reason standing. There we go. How much are we doing? I don't... Does it tell us? Okay, so we need total profits to $100. So this needs to be at $100. Is that what I'm... Oh, wow, that is really annoying. So because it's already into February, the total profits is down? Is that what I'm... Is that how I'm reading that? Oh, that's, that's a pain in the butt. We're going to have to do this thing, like, constantly. See? So there was a catch. And that's the catch. So we're at 20 bucks. We're going to need to get more people in here. Uh, I'm not really getting a lot of money, though. That's the problem. Do we have food in that one? Where's their food? Oh, there it is. There's their food. They're full. Okay. There's the tank filters are fine. Oh, jeez. That's a great way to get people to show up to the show. Just spit on their faces. <laughs> okay, so we're going to want this to be basically continuous. Never mind. <laughs> that stinks. But the orcas will get enough time to go over and eat and stuff. It's sad, but I don't want to have to do this in all of them. And I won't do this in all of them. The show's being continuous just isn't... It's not a great idea. Guest happiness is really low. Why? Is it because there's only one animal type? Like, I don't know if I even have enough time to get an animal type change until all of these upkeeps smack me across the face. <laughs> uh, 
I really hope that they start a a uh, show again. Okay, the, it's they're coming. They're coming. There will be another show. Some of these people will actually turn around and go back. I'm pretty sure. I hope so, at least. Yep, another show is starting. So were they able to eat? Hunger 89. Okay, see, that's the problem. So, if this doesn't work to fill the money up, I'm going to be in some trouble. I might have to do... I'd literally have to restart the entire one. So let's see. Yeah, people are turning around and going back. Problem is, I just don't know if I'm going to get as many as I got the first time. And we need, quite literally, um, in terms of attendance, to break even. We need 18 people. So maybe... Let's see what happens if I put it up to $6. Just see if that's a way, because then we'd need less people. They are all starting to come. I should have probably made the show longer. That way they're... Okay, more people are coming. Okay. Hey, maintenance man, if you would like to give me some of the money, I'd greatly appreciate it. So, if three, four, five, six... There's just not enough people. Hmm. Should I put it at, like, the front of the place? That's the real problem. Come on, people. Show up. I know you were just here, but these are Orcus. Now, in Zoo Tycoon 2 or Roller Coaster Tycoon, they do a really weird thing where you can actually see how long that they've got left in the show before the show is over. But... Okay. Um, but it doesn't look like they do it here. Popularity. Zero stars. That's Thanks, guys. I mean, they look overjoyed, but the problem is, is they won't be if I have to continuously have them do shows. They need to eat. So you people need to hurry up and get here before the show ends. That way we can finish this one. And I feel bad for these orcas, but this is... Uh, this is the level's fault. <laughs> okay, tons of people are coming in here. If they all show up. Just show up. Come on. Turn left. Get in there. I don't care if you're only in there for five seconds. We just need the total of money to hit 100. Okay. So this is a rather short video. So thank you to everybody for watching. This has been the first Marine Mania uh, Zoo Tycoon video. Um... If you'd like to see more Zoo Tycoon, we're going to be doing it probably about once a week. So uh, let me know in the comments. Don't forget to hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe. Hope you enjoyed. Have a great day. Bye, everyone.